Hello True Believers, Ben Patoni, and we are doing a review here of the Sisu Mouthguard Junior Thin Edition over here. And this is only available in America, so we have to get these specially shipped to us. And Hero usually likes using these, but he only they only last about a year and then they start cracking and getting damaged. So we got a few more for them to so six months to a year is how they usually last and they start kind of the corners start kind of showing some cracks and let me get to the reason some of the reasons why hero likes them very much number one is they're very thin so he can talk while they're using he's got a custom mouth guard also but we wanted a this one for like light training versus heavy game use so at least with this one it's more comfortable and like I said, because it's 1.6 millimeter thin, he uses the junior edition because it's not so big where it takes up his whole mouth and he can talk, breathe, and drink. That's why Sisu, we've been using it for several years now. And the best thing for us to do is we what I did was it's 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 not easy with Hero. It's uh, nothing ever comes easy. I mean, uh, because you know why? Well, because he's special. And normally. Uh, normal things don't apply to him so to get this thing to properly get formed well, what I usually what I had done was when we go to the dentist was we had an impression made they're like $50 to have made and they'll make it for you here's one that I had made like three or four years ago so we had rec we had one recently made I is this one and it's not that I don't see that much of a difference but I'm sure it's and when it comes to wearing these things, I mean, you, you feel the smallest difference. So uh, last time we went to the dentist, we got this made and we actually had a custom mouth guard made. But for light training, for actual games, so for light training, he prefers to just to use these. So this is what we're going to use. And what makes these difficult to form is it's supposed to be hot. You stick it in your mouth while all that hot water and it, it kind of gets cold quickly. So what I usually do is dip it in and and initially form it with using the impression and to do the final form. So I use like hot water and a blow dryer to kind of form it around the teeth first and then warm it up again, get it nice and soft for the final fitting. So that way it's not just flat like this, stick it in your mouth and hope for the best. So I actually form it around this first and then for the final form, we then we stick it in the mouth and uh, and get it to the exact specification. So that's what we're doing. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna get the hot water and blow it dry ready. And I got the impression, got the Sisu mouth guard here and we'll do our final and uh, we'll make a, a custom fit mouth guard. And as you can see, so I just kind of dip it in hot water, got the hot water heater here, put it in hot water and fit it around the impression. So as you can see, I got the front pretty much set. And what, what happens here is, so you want to get it to us as exact matching to the teeth as possible so this side is as you can see it's kind of nice and low into the into the forms of the teeth here this side I need to it's it's you see how it's lifting up right here like that so what I do is I just take this this hair dryer just warm that up so it's nice and pliable and then stick it back down like I do with this side and that should be good enough. I mean, it's it's protection, like I said, for light training because your teeth are supposed to last the rest of your life and makes it so much easier to get this to, so you have all the time in the world to just get it to just exactly right. So now I'm gonna put that, get that to come down and match the rest of the teeth just like I did over here on this side. Okay, so that's that's how I do this Sisu mouth guard customization. 
See, this camera is good for indoor and close up, but when you're doing outdoor and uh, distance, it gets really blurry. But that's what happens when I don't have my Canon camera anymore. But it's good enough for now until I can find the resources to get another camera, to get a, to get a good camera anyway. Okay, it looks like I got pretty much most of it. As you can see, I got it to form around here, around the front teeth. I mean, the front teeth are your most important thing you gotta protect over here. So I got it form around here. So that looks pretty good. And as you can see, I got it to form around there pretty good. I got the bite down over here. Got the bite down impression over here. You can appreciate that. And you do the shake test doesn't come off you don't want it too loose or you want it too tight you just want it to be to just kind of right in there so if you do the shake test it doesn't come off and uh, I mean you don't want it too tight but you don't want it too loose at the same time you want it just like right in the middle so let's go ahead and take this off so this is probably the cheapest way you can get custom mouth a custom mouth guard done and comfortable and it's not gonna have as much protection as like a custom one, the, the expensive hundreds of dollars one, like the $150 one, $200 ones, but it's better than nothing. And for light training, I think these are perfect. As you can see, I got the, so you get the impression down. So the moment of truth will be Hero trying it on. So I'm just letting it cool down so you could see the idea. So we've had this for several years. He wears them all the time. It's very comfortable. He likes them. So we have, a, few sets that I I put together but I wasn't able to make any while I was in prison because it's not that easy to you know to have a hair dryer with a water heater and then the this thing how am I gonna smuggle this in but now that I'm out I'm able to make these impressions for his mouth guard so he could have some protection because you know safety first what can go wrong will go wrong and it's better that you don't lose you get your teeth knocked out while you're just playing a game it's not if uh, it's you know if you could easily avoid it by getting a Sisu mouth guard, loves them because they're thin, they're comfortable, and they're quite fashionable. If you get them in the right color for us, white definitely makes a statement. Anyway, so that's how the best way to make a Sisu mouth guard, and uh, let's have let's have Hero try it on. Okay, and before you try it on, I suggest you kind of. Rinse it in Listerine here, so get rid of that plastic taste and the, um, you know, the impression taste. So I uh, rinsed it with uh, Listerine, so to give it a nice mint, minty, fresh flavor. Have here, try it on. Okay, I breathe. Doesn't fall out. Does it fall out? Not and not too tight. Nope. Not too loose. Nope. Bite down on it. Okay, smile. Let me see the top part. So it's so as you can see, it, and it doesn't fall out. It doesn't. Okay, so that's uh, mission accomplished. Now we got to give you a hair, get your haircut now, before we uh, go to training today. He's got online training at 2 o'clock, and he's got face-to-face uh, -face training at 3.30. So, we gotta get his, so I had to get his mouth guard ready and his haircut next. Okay, so comparison time. This is the custom one we got from the doctor. And you can see how heavy-duty and thick this is. This is actually made for like boxing and some heavy-duty contact sports. So as you can see how it could it offers maximum protection but comfort becomes an issue so if you need some serious if you're doing some serious contact sports like boxing taekwondo uh, um, ultimate UFC fighting then definitely get one of these and but look how thick it is so it's it's heavy duty so that's why we got it so this is this is probably for game time, but for light training, look how look how thin this is compared to compared to that.
Okay. So this is the one I just made right now. And this is the one the boss made while I was gone. As you can see, it needs to be cleaned. But uh, the impressions, I, I just need to alter it. It could be fixed. I just need to heat it up again so you can have, so it has a more fit and impressions. Okay, so it's looking, it's like, it's looking a little green, but we can clean that up and fix it. Okay, so this will be, a, so he'll, he'll have three to work with. This is for the heavy duty games, whenever that starts. And this is for just for the light training. For comfort and fit and lightness and thinness.